Right now, as the summer holiday season is uh, approaching and the sports calendars are around the world are starting to wind down, there is a group of sportsmen who are ramping up their preparations and those are the fearless drivers and riders who compete in the Dakar Rally out in Saudi Arabia. One such person is Bradley Cox, who is a professional off-road and rally rider. He is the 2024 Rally 2 World Champion and a 10-time South African Champion. A good morning to you, Bradley. Thank you so much for joining us this morning on Sports on Morning Live. No, morning, thank you for having me and uh, yeah, really excited to, to chat about the Dakar. Indeed, Let, before we chat about the Dakar, let's talk about you being born into off-road riding, basically the son of the le legend and Alfie Cox. How was growing up for you with just that pressure of living up to what your dad has done in the past, three podium finishes, eight time stage victories, how was that for you? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's a blessing and a curse. But um, yeah, I've had a I've kind of grown up with it my whole life, so it it doesn't you know it's not too much pressure, and it's not too much pressure from them. You know, they let, let me do my thing, and uh, yeah, whether it's uh, win or lose, he's always happy with a, a thumbs up for me. So yeah, I think we have a special you know family connection, and to be able to carry the name is is really special. And uh, yeah, just trying to. Um, you know, create my own path, but obviously it's just special having him and, um, you know, to, to now be literally footsteps, uh, in his footsteps, should I say, is, is, uh, is really cool. It is really cool, and you have carved your own path. And speaking about that, we look at the Dakar and how you guys generally travel to go and compete. You travel very light, not a lot of people with you. Talk to me about that experience and just that support, immediate support that you have with you at the time when you go in to compete. Yeah, for sure. You know, it's it's very yeah. It's myself, my team, and uh, my dad does come with for Dakar. It's always nice having um, you know him there with just a little advice and and helping me with the little things. But honestly, you know, I, I have the whole of South Africa behind me, and and that's a real special feeling. Um, you know, they they yeah. We have WhatsApp groups, you have social media, and just the support around those two weeks of January is is incredible. So um, yeah, we do travel. It's, it's Light and it's a, it's a you know individual sport, but we have the whole country behind us, and, and that's that's amazing. And as you have the whole country around you, and for those that are sitting at home watching right now, how do you navigate your way around the desert? Because from what I understand is that you don't have any navigation with you. So how do you know where to go and when? Yeah, so we we have a road book. Um, it's basically a, a scroll map, um, which is now digital, but. Um, with cap headings, uh, you have your odometer and obviously waypoints along the way. So uh, following pictures and lines with the cap heading uh, most of the time, there is an opening car that leaves in the morning. So there is some track, um, you know, to, to follow. But, uh, yeah, basically it's, um, it's, it's a proper navigation race. Uh, so you can be the fastest guy, but if you, you can't navigate at a fast speed, uh, you're going to be getting lost and doing circles. So. It's a unique way of racing, but um, yeah, it's the Dakar Rally, and it's definitely the the highest uh, you know motorsport event for for off road racing. And we've heard the likes of De Villiers speak about what the preparation looks like for a Dakar. Talk to us about what your preparation has been looking like so far, and where you are in terms of where you want to be just before the race gets underway. Yeah, I think, you know, I'm, I'm in a perfect situation, you know, wrapping up now the, the world championship, which ended a week ago and, and being crowned ready to world champion. That was something special. And, um, yeah, we're just now fine tuning. I'll, I'll be heading back overseas with the team for a little bit more testing, um, some more roadbook training. And then, uh, yeah, we pretty much taper down before Dakar. The physical training is, is in full, full go. Um, you know, long days on the bicycle, long days in the gym, as well as riding. Um, but, uh, yeah, now it's like really, Everyone, everyone tapers off for Christmas and we just ramp everything up and uh, our Christmas holiday is uh, when we come back. Yes, you can have your Christmas holidays in February. You've already touched on the rally too and I mentioned it in our introduction to our interview. How important was this victory for you? No, really important. You know, um, it's sort of, I can make the step now to the rally GP class knowing that I've closed my rally two career on a high. And uh, yeah, when I was a little boy, my goal was to be a world champion. And, and now, you know, 20 years later, I've, I've achieved that. So it's something really special. And um, yeah, to be the first, you know, South African to win to win rally two world championship is, is special. And uh, But now it only 
no, it only starts now with the big boys, and uh, we can only hope that maybe one day I can, you know, achieve greatness there at, in in the big class. Ah, oh, we love that for you, Bradley. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we also heard the minister making some utterances about Rally 2 coming to South Africa in 2025. Well, we're looking forward to that as well. Yes, yeah, for sure. You know, Gates and McKenzie reached out to me and it's, uh, yeah, it's really, it's an honour and it's um, special that, uh, the, you know, the Minister of Sports is, is seeing other sports. And uh, we are next year, 2025 in May, we will be uh, racing in Sun City. Uh, one week uh, race of the World Rally Championship, Round 3 I think it is, so that is something really special. Oh, thank you so much Bradley, all the best for your preparations for the Dakar Rally and we'll be following your journey. Ladies and gentlemen, that thank is you, Bradley Cox, who just coming fresh off that Rally 2 victory and is preparing for the Dakar Rally, which of course gets underway in early January.